Hi there, Elisha here. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a couple of problems that were encountered by the GCE candidates who wrote mathematics in 2023 this year. So now, I've just sampled out a few questions so that I leave the other questions for the next video. So now here they mostly these are the questions that you're likely to encounter anytime you're writing mathematics paper one. Okay, right, let's take a ride. So I'm gonna indicate here to say solutions. So I have evaluate. So these are indices. So we're gonna start number one. 3 squared plus 3 raised to the power negative 1 plus 2 raised to the power 0. So what you do is you apply the laws of indices. When you, you have any term raised to the, power, to the negative power, you need to make sure that you change that negative power into a positive power. So what we have is this one here, that would be 3 times three when expanded plus this one has to be changed into uh, a term with the positive power. So that is three raised to the power one plus we apply the law of indices. Any number raised to the power zero is one. So we have one. So three times three, that gives us a nine plus this one is as good as one over three Let me see what's here, if I have copied that one correctly. Okay. So here is, is, is multiplication, not plus. But, yeah. So now here we have times one. B that we start from this side, but mostly when you have mixed operations, you simply start from the left. So if let's say we resolve these two, you find the lowest common multiple of the denominator one and the three. So one into three, three times nine, that is 27, plus three into three, that is one, times one, times one. So that one will give us 28 over 3 times 1 introduce a 1. And that one will give us 28 over 3. Because 28 times 1, that gives us 28. 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 into 28. 3 into 27, that's 9. Remember 1 over 3. So that's the final answer. And we are done with the first question. We move on to number two, which says simplify. So we first of all write what we are simplifying. So the first rule is, first of all, you have to expand the brackets. So two times x, that gives us two x. Plus two times three y, that gives us six y. Then you multiply 3y times 4, that gives us minus 12x. Negative times negative, that's plus 3 times 2, that's 6. From here, we can actually collect the like terms. You can say 2x minus 12x plus 6y plus 6. This one will give us negative 10x plus 6y plus 6. We leave it like that, we are done. Let's now solve question 3, which has to do with factorization. So the saying, 3x squared minus 27, has to be factored out. So now here, when they say factor out this expression, what they want you to do is to identify the terms that are actually common. So in this case, when you check there's x, there's no x that side. So we can say x is common. 
but uh, we can check if three is actually a number that we can divide in, in, in both numbers that we have. So three can actually be divided into a three, can as well be divided into 27. So we'll say three is the common term here. When you identify the common term, make sure that you divide it into the terms that you have. Three into three x squared. That three and that three will cancel and we're going to have x squared minus. Then three into 27, that'll give us a nine. We can, uh, Write now the 9 as a perfect square root. So what's the square root of the 9? That's a 3. It has to be raised to the power 2. For us to have a 9 when we happen to expand it. So now, since we've written that as a perfect square, then we can further factor out this by saying we have one x and another x there. We have two x's and we also have two threes. So that would be minus three and the other three will be there. And that has actually been factored out completely. Let's move on to number four. They're saying find the gradient of a line which passes through the points. So now for you to determine the gradient, what you need to do is first of all, you identify the x and y components in terms of the first and the second. So what you do is you write the points, then label them. This is x1, that's y1, x2, y2. So from here you can now write the equation for finding the gradient. So Gradient is given by m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. From here, you simply plug in the values. What's y2? That's a 3 minus y1 minus 1. Over x2, that's a 0 minus x, x1, that is minus 3. So the gradient is 3 plus 1 over 3, which is equal to 4 over 3. We can leave it like that, or we can simplify it by saying 3 into 4, that's 1, 1 over 3. So friends, that's all we do. If you've liked the video, make sure that you hit the like button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell and just to subscribe. Don't forget to share with friends and encourage them to subscribe to the channel for the sake of walking away with a distinction in mathematics. Thank you so much for watching.